always thought that it was creepy when I was little. Anyways, we're back here in the mansion, and Toad, when did you get here? Let's talk to him. Where did you go, Mario? <laughs> Luigi. Wow, wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it. Oh, Joe, thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that Jude won a mansion, and he never returned. Th th then, when he I, I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little. I don't know what to do, it's awful! Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. I'll find him. It's my brother, anyways. Hey, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it! At least let me do this. Actually, toads are kind of like save points in this game, so you gotta find some if you wanna save. Talk to me for help anytime. So, uh, I actually know this game from head to toes. I've gone through it a lot of times. More than I could count. And I know it enough to know that I'm not supposed to walk into this sun very much. Why? Well... Let's just say it's not something that you like doing because if I could just get it right. Oh god! Yes, it actually stops. It would actually stop before hitting you if it was a movie. But no, it won't stop. It actually hits you. I actually got it on purpose. But you can actually get away from it. It's not necessary that you get hit. So let's go over here. Some coins. As I talked about in the intro video, I really recommend that you see that if you have not. Coins really help you out to your rank. I also explained what that is back in that video. Now, inside of the mansion, you gotta check out things a lot. Whenever you get the chance, check things up. Like this. This will give you money. It's better to check it when it's dark, because I don't think it actually gives you stuff when, it's uh, when the room is lit up. You can also check this one out, give you money, sometimes it can give you hearts. And if you check the chandelier over here, it gives you a gold bar. Okay, so what do you say we start up the frightening ghost action with some of these? <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lion Green. Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark and now they will get you. <laughs> Now you're in for it. <laughs> Just like little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you her? <laughs> here they are now. Oh yes. Now here this ghost story back. The same three ghosts that were haunting us back at the uh, introduction are going to be here trying to haunt us. So don't really have to worry much about the quantity of ghosts in this room. There's gonna be a little quantity of them. Last one should be around here somewhere. There it is. Hello. There we go. Remember the strategy I talked about in the introduction, so that you uh, so that you catch these ghosts even uh, faster. Now check this place out. It's gonna give money, but I think it's only giving out money when the room is completely laid up, so you gotta look out for that. Don't check that place before time. Now, when you clean up a room, usually a key appears, or maybe a chest. Oh, that's backwards. Usually a chest appears, sometimes only a key. But we got the key, and whenever you grab it, the Game Boy Horror will show you to what room it is. Of course, we're going in a straight line, so we're gonna come over here to the ante room, or ante room. So, as I, as I told you, just gotta shake all the things up. Of course these ghosts are gonna get in the way, but over here, there's a gold bar over here, and we have a new kind of ghost here. These call these ones are called purple punchers in, the, in America, and in Europe they're called pink punchers, which I congratulate Europe for not being colorblind, because those are not anything near purple for me. I'm gonna try to get these two ghosts at the same time, there you go. You don't really have much instances of that in this game. Oh god. God. What do you want appearing just right behind me? That way. That way. That way. 
And of course, Pope Purple Punchers are just gonna have 10 more HP than the usual Gold Ghosts. So, there's nothing in this channel here, and on top of this one, there is money. I'm gonna check a lot of these, because they usually give out money. Nothing in that one. When a room that's been lit up doesn't give you anything, you probably want to check it out later, because they usually give money later on, if they don't give it in your first visit. Now, um, I just told you to check anything, everything in this game. But I just want you to hold on on these wardrobes for a second. First up, we're gonna clear the room up. Well, kind of. You saw the green ghost? These ones are called Trashkin Ghosts. As you can see, they just throw away bananas. And you gotta be careful with those, because if you slip on them, you lose HP. Anyways, you gotta be on the lookout with these. Of course, Thrashkin Ghosts are kind of the most uh, annoying, because they have 40 HP and they throw out their banana peels. But there's nothing pretty much special about them apart from the banana peels. You can still keep them apart from the other ones, uh, like the other ones, by doing that. But once you've sucked up that second Thrashkin Ghost, come to this wardrobe over here and grab your lantern a little bit up, your flashlight. Because this is an entire new kind of ghost. This is called a speedy spirit. Whenever you suck it up, it's gonna leave tons and tons of money. So you better look out for them. I don't know exactly how many there are. Uh, I'm not sure if I know the locations of any, every single one of them, but I will be trying to get them all. And um, if I so if any of those escapes me, I'm not gonna be resetting and going back for it. I'm just gonna play the game. So the last ghost inside of the room is inside of this war row over here. Now, Speedy Spirits are not required to clear out the room, so uh, you gotta look for them when the room is completely darkened. If you don't, then you lost your opportunity of catching them. So, as you can see, that one appeared over the clothes, so you gotta uh, do that. Let me see, got a heart over here. And before going back to open that up, there's this room over here, there's another toad right here. Let's talk to him. Where, where, Mario, where are you? Where? Oh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi! How lucky that you found me! I feel so much better now. Please, 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 Saint Mario, I looked everywhere. I can't find him, where is he? Okay, we talk to him again. If there's anything I can do, and you can save. Yep. So, my the last attempt I had at recording this, I actually got, like, here the, to the door before talking to Toad, and the lights went off. So, whenever you see a mirror like this, you want to examine it with your horror, uh, with your Game Boy Horror and take a photo of it, because with that, you will be taken instantly back to the foyer. Now, uh, some people tend to do this before going uh, to the rest of the area one, because this uh, mansion is divided by areas. There's money in that chandelier, I'm not going for it right now. I'm gonna wait until I clear area one. So... Hold up, Saint Luigi. It's me, Professor Egan. I detect spirits struggling that are with, yeah, we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they are really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. No, nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search his heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Well, you could do that, or you could follow the LP, because I've gone through this game quite a few times, and I know this game very well, so I know how to catch every single one of the gallery ghosts, so you don't have to uh, go through any trouble, trouble for that. This is the first gallery ghost you encounter. He's called Norval, but first, let's suck up his book. Actually, when he does that, you want to look at him, and that's the way... Oh, God. Yeah, ah, uh, God. Didn't want to suck it up that, that soon, because... Well, pretty much, I was not trying to suck it up, but yeah, there's a speedy spirit over there. Yep, got a ruby out of him. So it's really important that you don't miss anything, because every single piece of treasure counts. Towards your final counter. So, before actually catching Norvid anyway, Norvid, Norville, you wanna come over here and look here with your Game Boy Horror. You see this piece of cheese, right? Take a photo of it. A mouse appeared. You want to suck that mouse up because it's called a golden mouse. There are, I think, uh, in between 10 and 15 golden mice inside of this mansion. And they're kind of tricky to get sometimes, and they're hidden very well with the cheese things. 
just don't don't you dare John okay again you wanna check everything up before catching the ghost and now look away so you can see him and when he yawns you fly you light your flashlight and on top of him one two three go now fights with these kind of ghosts are different they have more HP of course and they are gonna try to uh, get away really really fast they can actually spawn poison shrooms. Those kinds of shrooms make you shrink. Now, these are these pearls can only be dropped by those ghosts, uh, by those kinds of ghosts. They drop four little pearls, four medium pearls, and one big pearl, depending of how you suck them up. There are ranks. If you get only, if you get less than 50 of their HP at first, you will get a bronze rank on them for the uh, at the end of the area. If you suck up more than 50 but less than 90, you get a br uh, silver rank. And if you suck up 90 or more uh, on your first try, you'll get gold rank. Depending on uh, depending on how much tries you need, the quantity of pearls of each size that they will actually spare. So you need to actually suck up 90 HP out of them in order to get the big pearl out of them. So it's kind of a little, it's a little bit different from the other ghosts and your rewards may differ between your development, but it's nice. And right over here, if you do that, just stay in the middle, look up, and that's it. So just keep examining all this stuff, there's a gold bar over here. You'll find lots and lots of more. I really recommend that you take out uh, the clothing for tables and beds before trying to face the ghost, because it can make you get stuck. Now, this may not be all, all too obvious at first, because this girl is trying to look at herself in the mirror. Let's take a look at Eric just to show this feature off. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up on that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. So, it doesn't really tell you how to scare her, right? Well, you come over here and do this you'll see a raft of wind coming in. Oh no, such a draft, and that is how you uncover her heart. No! Okay. Do your best to not get hurt at all, or don't get hurled up onto the ghost, because if you do, you're gonna lose it. I'm gonna try to get all gold ranks so that I can show it off. If not, I'm gonna have a bonus video of all the ghosts uh, in gold ranks in another file. So, over here, got another key. And I'm just getting a lot of voice tricks, I'm sorry for that. But, we can now go to over that room. Well, nothing left for us in this room, so might as well over there. Might as well over there. Might as well go over there. You can actually just take pictures of stuff here. Uh, for example, this, and Luigi will say something. Now, that's just not my style. For example. But get out of here. And you'll get a little bit creeped out. Well guys, we will be knowing what is inside of that room in the next episode. For now, I am Dr. Favetti, and I wish you nightmares to the night. Goodbye!